Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important questions that are asked from the pelvic section of the anatomy during the semesters and the first part of examination of the first year MBBS. The chapters that I have mentioned here are as per the chapters that are present in the BD Charasya book. So it is better that you follow the BD Charasya book. Now moving on to the first chapter that is the perineum. The enumerated questions that are asked from these chapters are muscles forming the perineal body, contents of the ischio anal fossa. This is a very important question. And uh, structures piercing the perineal membrane is also important. And structures crossing the pelvic inlet is a lesser important question. Now, moving on to the short note. It comes generally on the ischial fossa. This is very important. Boundaries and content of the deep perineal space is a lesser important question. Boundaries and content of superficial perineal space is also lesser important. And the perineal membrane is generally asked. Now, moving on to the urinary bladder and the urethra. The enumerate question that are asked... Uh, and this uh, are the ligaments of the bladder. Generally, from the pelvic portion of the anatomy, short notes and long questions are asked and the enumerated questions are very less. From this chapter, the short note comes on the urinary bladder and the urethra. In case the uh, question comes on the urinary bladder, you have to write about the position, external features, relation is very important. It can be asked as a separate question. Ligament, again, can be asked as a separate question. Arterial supply, venous drainage, nerve supply and the clinical that you have to generally write in case of a short note and a long question. And in case of urethra, you, the question generally comes on the prostatic urethra. Now moving on to the female genital organs, uh, the short notes come on the uterine tube. And in case the question is asked on this, you have to write on the situation. Subdivision, blood supply, nerve supply and clinical that you have to mention. Now the question can also come on the uterus. This is very important and it is generally asked. And if a question is asked on this topic you have to write about the size and shape angulation very important can be asked as a separate question parts ligaments can also be asked as a separate question contents of the broad ligament is generally an enumerate question arterial supply lymphatic drainage venous drainage age and reproductive changes can be asked as a separate question supports of the uterus is very very important and is surely going to be asked as a separate question and clinical you have to write it male reproductive organs from this chapter, the short notes come on the beads and plexus, age changes of the prostate, and a separate question can come on the prostate. And in this, you have to write on the situation, shape and size, gross feature, zones of the prostate, lobes, capsule and ligament, blood supply and the clinical. In case of the prostate, a separate question can also come on the zones of the prostate, lobes and capsule and the ligament of the prostate. Now, moving on to the rectum and the anal canal, the enumerated questions from this chapter are structures palpable per rectal in the males. This is a very important question and it's surely going to come. Lymphatic drainage of the anal canal is less important. Now, moving on to the short notes. Uh, the short note uh, on piles is very, very important. And a uh, short note can also be asked on the lymphatic drainage of the rectum and the anal canal. A short note uh, can also come on the anal canal and the anal sphincters. Now, moving on to the wall of the pelvis. In this uh, case, uh, the enumerate comes on the branches of the iliac, internal iliac artery. This is surely going to come and it is a very important question. And uh, the branches of the pudendal artery and uh, nerve is also very important. And a short note can come on the levator and eye.